Honorable viewers, this is the 12th Lenten talk from Bola Memorial Anglican Church, Abuli Unibabo. Let us pray. Father, pray that those who profess to be our enemies, you will turn their hearts to know you and to see you and give them no power to conquer us. For we pray in Jesus' name. Our text is taken from Matthew chapter 22, verse 15 to 16. And it reads, Then the Pharisees went out and laid plans to trap him in his words. They sent their disciples to him along with the Herodians. They are people of God. As Jesus was doing his ministerial duty, the enemies, the Pharisees, they are characters. You know, we are dealing with characters around the cross. The Pharisees, as a character, or the Pharisees as characters, were planning to trap him down in words. And so they set a lot of traps for him. My dear people of God, as we go in this Lenten season, you could be seen as a man of unquestionable integrity, but yet some people are there to look for your downfall. Matthew 22, 16 tells us how his opponent sized up his character in the last few days of his life. The statement comes from the Pharisees who laid plans to trap him in his words. They sent some of their well-trained disciples to trick him with semantics. Ponder carefully their opening remarks. Teacher, we know you are a man of integrity and that you teach the way of God in accordance with the truth. You aren't swayed by men because you pay no attention to who they are. This isn't just a compliment. It is an honest evaluation of Jesus by men who intend to murder him. What does integrity involve? Reputation, we know. Commitment to truth in words. You teach the word of God. In relationship, you are in straight by men. Consistent lifestyles, you pay no attention to who they are. Even as they attempted to trip him up, Christ's enemies had to confess that his reputation, his commitment to truth, and his consistent lifestyle made him a man of integrity. Why is this important for all of us as children of God? As this lens is in, we must follow our master, despite the plans of the enemies. One, we should be known to be Christ-like. We should teach the way of God. We should not be swayed by men. We should pay no attention to who the enemies are, but have our focus on Christ, the author and finisher of our faith. My dear people, we hear a lot these days about family values and the need to rediscover virtues in our nation. But the basic building blocks of virtue are very simple. We've known them all along. Honesty, perseverance, faithfulness, kindness, loyalty, self-control. The problem isn't the knowing, it is in the doing. Many of us, we know this, but we don't do it. At this Lenten season, let us be doers of all this. Let us be honest, let us persevere, let us be faithful, let us show kindness. Let us be loyal to Christ and to God. Let us control self. And as we do this, our Lenten season, our enemies will not conquer us, and our Lenten season will be acceptable to Him. Let us pray. Lord, help us to live in such a way that will be pleasing unto You. Grant us the grace never to mind the plans of the enemies but to be focused on you at this season. So that even when the enemies are planning, we shall always be victorious. Grant this, we pray. 
in the name of the Father and of the Son and 